my EP Colour Me Violet came out a few weeks ago and it's actually been a long time in the making. Um, I came up with the line Colour Me Violet about 10 years ago now. Um, it just came to me and I don't really know what it meant but it stayed with me, Colour Me Violet, I feel like the dusk. I think I was going through quite a hard time emotionally then and um, and that line just stayed with me, but I've never been able to put it into a song successfully. Um, so I have this list of lyrics that I know are meant to go into co-writes at some point. So I just keep them in my phone, notes. And when I was writing with my, my co-writer, Nina Sundstrom, who um, I write with quite often, um, I told her that, that line and she was really inspired by it. And so we started to write um, the EP, which came together as a collection of songs kind of about relationships that I've been in, sort of experiences that both of us have had in romantic relationships. And um, that's where the EP started from. So all of the songs were recorded um, either last summer or earlier this year. And um, the first track that we, we wrote together was Magpie Hearts. Um, I've always struggled with writing love songs because often they're a bit sickening and British people don't really like songs about people being happy. It's that uh, we're naturally a slightly depressive lot and we quite like songs about breakups. Um, so, um, and I'm, I'm happier at writing breakup songs because I've been through a lot of breakups. Um, but I am in a very happy marriage now and we have two children and I wanted to write something about my husband. Um, so Nina and I thought about it for quite a long time and we were like, right, we're going to have to find a way of talking about love that doesn't make the listener want to vomit and or make us want to vomit while writing the song or me singing the song. And we came up with this idea of um, having a magpie heart. Uh, so I really like shiny things <laughs> and um, Nina's always referred to me as a magpie. I get, get called that by, by people quite often. Um, and it's almost like finding treasure um, in somebody, like someone is the treasure. And um, and then you find that and it, it kind of changes your life and it brightens up the darkness. So we wrote this song Magpie Heart about my husband Tom and it goes through um, kind of our relationship. Um, and I, have, I do have depression, so I struggle sometimes with just functioning in life and my husband is amazing and he makes he makes me a little nest out of blankets um, which is the sweetest thing ever because what I need when I feel like that is to be kind of cuddled in and he makes me a cup of tea I'm very British he makes me a nice cup of tea and cuddles me and so the first verse is all about that about someone taking care of you and and those kind of needs and that being the kind of treasure that you actually have always looked for rather than the diamonds and pearls and things actually that's the thing that is the greatest treasure so uh, the baby that's featured in the song is now five years old. She's called Layla. And um, when we first found out we were having her, we were dancing in the kitchen, listening to our favourite band, Radiohead. And, um, and then it goes through. She had quite, had quite a difficult birth with her and um, it all became a bit of an emergency. And um, it was quite stressful. Um, but my husband was there through, through it all and um, made it better. And at that point, he was that treasure that brought me my baby treasure, like placed her into my arms. Um, so that's what Magpie Heart's about. And so Nina and I wrote that together and um, and she recorded the guitar part and then my friends at Bearwall Studios um, produced it um, and added strings and some very light sort of touches to it. Um, I recorded all the vocals at home in my, my little studio here um, because it was still kind of coming out of lockdown. So going into studios was still tricky so I did quite a lot of home recording which seemed to work okay um, so yeah so that's Magpie Heart um, the second song that we well we did I didn't write this one actually Nina um, came to a writing session in my studio and she said oh I've got I've, I've written this song and it's called Pieces of You and she played it to me and it was so good that I just thought I need to have that song um, and it spoke to me so much about relationships that I've been in where you know really you shouldn't be in that relationship before it's not actually good for you but you you can't you can't 
get out of it because you keep finding reasons to kind of make excuses for the person and reasons to stay. Um, and so there's lines in it like, maybe it don't hurt all that bad, but you're kind of thinking, I really shouldn't be with this person. I can't um, hold these pieces of you without my own hands bleeding, is the kind of line. Um, how much damage that does to you, to be with the wrong person, but we make excuses. And a lot of people have been in relationships like this. So um, I've had quite a lot of messages since the release of um, the EP of people saying, yeah, that, that kind of sounds like my own relationship. Um, and thank you for singing about it. So that, that feels nice. Um, so that's a Nina song. She's amazing. Um, and um, so I put my own kind of spin on, on the vocals and things. But essentially that is, is one of Nina's songs. And then we wrote another song together in that same writing session where we wrote Magpie Heart. Um, we called it Grey Man. And that's the song that starts with the line, colour me violet, I feel like the dusk. That line that I've had for 10 years floating around in my head, waiting to belong somewhere. Um, and I've wanted to write about one of my exes for quite a long time, but didn't quite know how to put those ideas into a song without it sounding really mean and spiteful or um, too similar to other breakup songs. And so we came up with this idea of um, when I was with that person, I became a very grey person. I became very colourless and rejected a lot of really good things in life and was, was really shy and I developed agoraphobia um, and I, I kind of became a shadow of myself. A lot of people say that now, people who've known me for a long time say it's so nice seeing me back to who I am meant to be and during that time they almost didn't recognise me. So we called the song Grey Man because he kind of pulled me into that wasteland of his and it made me grey as well um, and really kind of nothingy. And then as I came out of that relationship, I started to get braver and become more myself again. And now I'm back to being this crazy, colourful, slightly, you know, tattooed, crazy hair kind of version of myself that I always was, but stopped being it for that person. Um, and so, yeah, the bridge talks about, um, you'll see me on every screen, every magazine, vividly living my life. Um, so I don't know if my ex sees me on the cover of magazines um, or hears my music or because I've was on, i I've been on TV and done lots of things. I don't know if he has seen that. He may, he may not have. Um, but it's quite nice to know that I'm vividly living my life again. Um, and I hope he's happy. I hope his life's excellent. Um, I just know that we were not helpful to each other during that relationship. Um, so yes, yeah, so all the songs are written with Nina and um, we sit and um, in my studio and drink tea and eat a lot of um, ginger nut biscuits. That seems to help us. We've tried other biscuits, but ginger nuts seem to be the, the, the best ones for getting, for getting the best songs. Um, and she sits here with her guitar and I sit with my piano and we just write and write and write. Um, and, um, and we have an amazing time. We just have this very quick way of working together. Um, we can sometimes in a day, we can write about five different songs, um, like whole songs, which um, has felt like so far the most productive co-writing relationship I've ever had. So I always refer to her as my song sister. It's like she gets me emotionally. Um, and she writes for a lot of other people too, and so do I. Um, so it's always really nice to come back together and kind of bond over that songwriting process and talk about who we've been writing with and what we've been doing and, and how life's been going. And then um, everything was, uh, all the vocals were recorded in my studio um, and Bearwall Studios in Bristol, which is about 20 minutes from me, they um, do all the production um, and are amazing. And I've worked with them for a long time. Um, a lot of my students, a lot of my co-writers work with them. I always recommend them because they're just so supportive and lovely and, um, and really kind to singers who sometimes get a bit nervous in a studio. Um, so Zav um, from Bearwall does, does a lot of work for me and it's really lovely. Um, and then working with Monday Media, um, Ellie and, and Rich um, has been amazing. They've, they've really helped me look at how to promote the album and how to talk to people about it. Because I tend to write music and then launch it into the world and kind of forget about it. But this EP feels different because I felt like there was something more personal to say. 
and it's been really exciting to work with them. Um, and, and yeah, and I hope you enjoy Colour Me Violet. <laughs>